resolution of vector in two dimension. This is the topic for this video. So to illustrate this, consider a two dimensional space with an x axis and a y axis and with point origin O. Consider a point P which has its coordinates as x and y. Now I can further define the point here as point A and this as point B. And this I can write this as x comma 0 because our x axis is x and y axis is y here. So it will be x comma 0 here and here this will be 0 comma y. Okay. So this is our coordinates here a and b. Now I'm going to introduce to you a new vector o p. So this is a new vector o p. So this is a vector from the origin o. So I can define this as vector r where your vector r is equal to o p. Right. Now I can define this as my vector b which is from O to B, and I can define my vector O to A as vector A. Right. Next, what I'm going to do is, I am going to write this point or this vector R in terms of A and B. You can translate the OB here. Okay, OB vector. So vector R, can be defined as vector a plus vector b is equal to vector a plus vector b. Okay, now we're going to introduce two new terms. All right, so this is very important. All through your vector algebra, you'll be using these. So they're very special terms. They are called i cap and j cap. Okay. So it's a cap, right? So it's like this, it's like a cap. Now, I cap is called a vector. It is a vector, okay? This is a vector, but the dimension of I cap or the magnitude of I cap is one. Similarly, the magnitude of j cap is also 1. So, if I'm going to multiply this i cap with any value, it will be the same because this is actually unit 1. So, this point here is x and y. So, let's introduce this i cap onto the x axis. Okay. I cap. So let's say this is our unit vector on the x axis. I mean, I, it's, it's got to be here. I'm just drawing it here for your easy understanding. Similarly, you know, over here you have your y cap. They're both equal, right? I cap and j cap are both equal in dimension. So I can write x, this point x, as, or this length x as, x i cap. So this can be written as x i cap and this length can be written as y j cap. Okay, so the minute you introduce i cap and j cap, that means they are vectors. So the vector o a, so the vector a, which is vector o a, can be written as x i cap. And the vector b, which is OB, can be written as y, j, cap. Right? So, what is our vector r? Vector r is vector a plus vector b. So, I can, let me write it here for you. Vector r is equal to vector a plus vector b. But we have shown our vector A to be x i cap and vector B to be y j cap. So this can be written as x i cap plus y j cap. All right. So remember the cap 
Y, I cap and J cap. The cap indicates that it's a unit vector. And when you say I cap, it means it is a vector along the X axis. I cap is a vector along the X axis. And J cap is a vector along the Y axis. And its unit is 1. Okay. So given any point, you can use this method and draw a position vector from the origin to the given point as and express them as I cap and J cap. Now let's prove this theorem, theorem 8.5, it says, let I cap and J cap be the unit vectors along the positive X axis and Y axis. I've already explained to you that I cap is a unit vector along the X axis and J cap is along the Y axis, having the initial point at origin O. So they have the initial point at origin O. Now OP vector, which is this vector, is the position vector of any point in the plane, then OP vector can be uniquely written as OP vector xi plus yj for some real numbers x and y. Further prove that or you know further we can say that the magnitude of OP vector is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Right. So we have three things to prove here. First, we have to show that we can write OP vector in the form xi plus yj, yj cap. And you have to show that they are unique, which means there is no other number. x, y has to be x, y. You know, you cannot have x1, y1. You know, two numbers cannot represent the vector OP. And the third thing that we need to prove is that our magnitude of OP vector is x squared plus y squared, the whole square root. Okay, so now let's consider the point L and M on the vector and I cap and J cap to be the unit vectors. So we can express OP as OL plus OM. So we have that here, OP plus LP and LP is same as OM. Okay, so that will be equal to our OL is equal to X I cap, which we just saw and OM. Uh, will be equal to y j cap. So substituting them here, you will get your op vector is equal to xi cap plus y j cap. Similarly, we can replace op with r cap and say or or vector and say that r vector is equal to xi cap plus y j cap. Now for the second part of the theorem, which is we have to express that the uniqueness of OP is that it has unique values X and Y. Okay, so there are not two values for X and Y. So how can we prove that? To prove this uniqueness, let us consider X1 I cap and Y1 J cap and X2 I cap and Y2 J cap. So we're going to represent this OP vector as these two vectors. Okay, two representation of the same point. So since they represent the same point OP vector, so we're going to have them equal. So X1 I cap plus Y1 J cap is equal to X2 I cap plus Y2 J cap. All right. Now algebraically, let's rearrange this. Let's move them all to the left side. Then you will have, if you bring them to the left, you'll have X1 minus x2 i cap minus of bring this to the side y2 minus y1 j cap okay so that's what you will have on the left hand side it will be equal to zero here zero vector which means it's a zero vector to have a zero vector you need to have x1 x2 x1 minus x2 as equal to zero and y2 minus y1 as equal to zero so that's what we have expressed here so which means our x1 is equal to x2 and our y, y1 is equal to y2. So that shows our uniqueness. Now for the last part of the theorem, which is OP vector magnitude is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay. Now consider this as a triangle O, P and L. Now you can see that this is a right angle triangle 
at L. So if this is a right angle triangle using the Pythagoras theorem, we can say OP squared is equal to OL squared plus LP squared. So let's put that down here. OP squared is equal to OL squared plus LP squared. We're talking about the magnitude here, okay? We're not talking about the vector. We're talking about only the magnitude. In this case, would be the length. So what is OP? OP can be written as the magnitude of OP vector, okay? It's the same as the magnitude. So when you say magnitude, you put, you know, the mod here. So this OL is nothing but the length X. The length of OL is X and the length of OM is Y. So this is X and this is Y. So you will replace that with OL squared and LP squared. So it can be written as since we're taking OP, not the squared. So this will be square root of X squared plus Y squared. So the same as the Pythagoras theorem, very simple. And replacing our vector OP with the vector R, you get R, vector R is equal to, or in other words, you can call that as just plain R as its length equal to square root of X squared plus Y squared. That proves our theorem. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like, and uh, you can comment if you have any questions. And do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.